Hi, my name is Chris and I'm a solutions architect at Red Hat. In this short 4 minutes video, I want to show you how to automate and build Windows templates and VMs with Red Hat OpenShift Virtualization. We need to start by finding the ISO file for the Windows image we're planning to install. I've selected Windows 10 and the best place to get the image for that is directly at Microsoft.com. So I'm going to select the Windows 10 version here and then from the language drop down menu I'm going to select English United States and hit confirm. Uh, this process generates the link that's active for 24 hours for me to use. From this screen I'm just going to right click on the 64-bit version and then copy link address. I'm ready to install Windows 10 on my OpenShift virtualizations and for that I'm going to switch to the OpenShift console. Installing Windows manually with the ISO file can be tedious. So for that I want to automate the process as much as possible. I'm going to go to projects and go to my demo project and then from the pipelines drop down menu I will select the CICD pipeline that I created for creating the Windows images. My automation pipeline for creating Windows is very simple and includes five elements. In general I create two data volumes, one for the ISO and one for the Windows itself. Then create a VM from the manifest and perform the automatic installation based on the unattended .xml stored in my config map. Finally, waiting for the complete status to succeed and clean up the VM without deleting the volume itself. We're now ready to start the run. I can hit actions and press the start button. In the first field, I've, I'm asking the user to enter the location of my ISO file and I just paste the link that we've copied a little bit earlier. In the second step, I can have multiple XML scripts that will automate my installation process. From here, I'm going to hit start and just wait for the process to finish. Once the two data volumes got created, uh, my pipeline created the VM where it's now installing the Windows. We can check the status on it by going under Virtualization and Virtual Machines and from here we can select this Windows installer VM and then in the console itself so we should be able to see the process of the Windows and the installation itself. As you can see Windows installation progressing successfully without user intervention. You can go back to pipelines and click on the last run to see where we are in the process. After a few minutes, my pipeline has completed and I can update my Windows 10 templates with a new just created base image. For that, I will switch to Project OpenShift and then go to Templates and then scroll down all the way down to the Windows 10 and then update the boot source reference for one of those Windows 10 templates. So like PVC, the projects I've just been working with and a base image that has been just created. Now all my users should be able to create Windows VM with the source that I have prepared for them. To demonstrate, I'm going to switch back to the demo user, go to the virtual machines and create a new virtual machine. Scrolling down reveals the source available for Windows 10 VMs. I'm going to select one of them and just quick create a virtual machine. From here it only takes a couple of seconds for the consoles to show me the running windows. Thank you, and I hope this demonstration has been useful to understand capabilities and built-in automation for Windows virtualization with Red Hat OpenShift platform.